this famous last? What is up, everybody? It's your boy KC with one of my first ever basketball breakdown videos. I will be explaining of how both the Warriors and the Cavs runs in the finals were so similar, and it would just be like a, such a shock to you because you never heard nothing like this before. But I've done my research and I've done my background, and I can really give it to you of how they're so similar. And a lot of people just did not wake up on this. Okay, we already know the infamous that LeBron James is the king. He is the man of the NBA. He brought the uh, Cavs back from a 3-1 deficit in the NBA Finals over a 73-9 and team. And the first ever unanimous MVP. And it was LeBron's first championship. It was the first championship in Cleveland in over 57 years or so. And he was the man of the city of Cleveland. He was a man of Akron. He was a man of Ohio. So he did it all with a rookie head coach and so Ron Lou. But it's so similar because last year, a rookie head coach named Steve Kerr won one with this guy, Steph Curry, the first ever unanimous MVP, with also two all stars in Draymond Green and Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson dropping 37 in a quarter, and Draymond Green having his own triple doubles. But you know what's so similar about him and LeBron James? They are both great spokesmen, and they are both unselfish superstars. I don't think Steph Curry gets enough credit for where he came from. I know he didn't start from the bottom, but I'm just saying from all the injuries, from the ankle to the knee to the back, and all these injuries he's had throughout his whole career, he bounced back. He became a two-time league MVP and, a, most importantly, an NBA champion. But you know what's so similar about him and LeBron James? They both had great playoff seasons. Let's just break it down. First playoff series for LeBron James to play up against the Detroit Pistons. They sweep that series in four games. LeBron James, throughout that playoffs, was averaging over 27 points with nine rebounds and at least nine assists. And Kyrie Irving was tripping in with at least 25 points. And then we now go to the Hawks series where they hit not just a record of 25 made threes in one playoff game. That is insane. Broke the Mavs old record and the Spurs old record. And then they won that series also in the sweep. See that? Now let's just see what the next one was. Oh, they play up against my Toronto Raptors. You know, me as a Toronto fan. You know, I was kind of mad and kind of hot about it. But you know what? I got to give credit where credit is due. They won the series in six games and they moved on. Now let's just jump back to the West where the Golden State Warriors are playing up against, you know, a decent team in the Houston Rockets, well, the shell of himself the year before. And, you know, they were dominating the first three games until one of the scariest of injuries happened. You know, the unanimous MVP, Steph Curry, you know what happened to him? He went down. He went down hard with one of the nastiest of knee injuries I've ever seen in a playoff game. Well, there's not one of the nastiest injuries I've ever seen happen to him. And, you know, importantly, just, you know, they fed off of that energy. They fed off of the, the injury to Curry. You know, they won a game. But then Curry, you know, being the MVP of the NBA, you know, he bounced back. And he was just putting in work. He had 40 in his first game back. How many players can name you name that have came back from their first game and dropped 40 points? And then the real test came when they played against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, the Thunder... We're not no scrub team. They're in the conference finals. They beat the Spurs, and then they beat another highly ranked team in the um. I don't know who else they played up against, but I don't know that was playing competition. And then now we got Kevin Durant being one of the first, you know, MVPs to win one over LeBron, and then Russell Westbrook, who was also in the running for MVP. And then they were just giving it to the Warriors. They had a three-one lead. And the Warriors, they seen that. They bounced back. They seen that the pressure was on the Thunder to close the series out, and they fed off of that. Klay Thompson had a 40-point game, hitting over 11 threes, and then Curry dropped 30 at the home game in Game 7. And then just, they completed it. They came back from a 3-1 deficit. They won three straight games, and now they're another team that made it to the finals. And then, you know what? It's just, uh, let's just jump back. Let's just jump back one year. LeBron James, they were actually up over the Warriors. The first two games, LeBron James was putting up monster numbers. 
The first game, LeBron had 44 points with 8 rebounds and 6 assists. And then the next game, when they actually won, he had 39 points with 16 rebounds and 11 assists. And then it was crazy enough that they won two games in a row. They actually were up against the Warriors. He had 40, 12, and 8. 12 and 8. And then the Warriors, you know, they just fed off of that energy. They calmed down. And then they just brought themselves back. Curry started hitting shots, you know. And the rest is history. They came back. It's just so, it's just so similar. Like, you're going to see the similarities in a minute. Then the Warriors winning six games. And Curry got his first championship. And then they went on that magical regular season run. But then reality check hit them when LeBron James went beast in the playoffs and led in every single category and then Kyrie Irving with the with the dagger but before the dagger the clutches moment in NBA history with the chase down block by LeBron James they came back from a 3-1 deficit and the similarities are both teams had won two games in a row throughout the first three games but then they lost three in a row and I hope you enjoyed the video